you know, it's it's just the way politics are, you know. The voters, the democracy, the voters chose, and you know, just have to go along with it, you know, and go on. And how do you feel about uh, the time that you were on council? Oh, I feel real good about it. I mean, I served the, I felt I served the people well, and I was there, and I will still continue to be active in the community. Okay, where do you go from here? Um, onward and upward. You know, like I said, I will always stay active in the community. I won't go away. People will still see me out and about. So, uh, what can they expect from from this change of leadership? Um, I think being more inclusive with the, the people of the fourth ward. Um, like I said, mentioned before with someone else, that that's my first thing to do before I actually take office is to connect with people. And um, after that, it's that's given them that voice so that they can contact me directly. And then after that would be crime and everything I mentioned during that. Right. Uh, so uh, a big thing that uh, that came about from from this campaign was uh, you know both you and, and Luis Toro you know capitalizing on uh, growing discontent between council priorities and citizen concerns, namely when it comes to uh, getting a handle on the city's debt load and uh, trying to uh, address gun violence. Um, I guess uh, what can voters expect from you? I mean, what's your plan? You know, kind of day one, do you plan on hitting the ground running? Pretty much. Um, I think I have a good grasp of. You know why, why we're going about why we're heading in this direction. You know, there's so many things that feed into crime, and noticing those those problems is a, a good start. And hopefully, I'll be able to work well with others and okay. we can get something going. So your priority uh, is to be more inclusive, more accessible. More accessible. I, that's one of the things I seem to get from people was that um, my opponent wasn't too accessible during her tenure. So more inclusive, more accessible, um, hoping to be a little bit more transparent in how council goes about its business? I would think so, yeah. Um, I think we can use social media to our advantage in a big way. How so? Um, just so many people use it nowadays, and to be able to just go on and, you know, I, I had a, a rough learning curve with, the, the face, with Facebook <laughs> over mm -hmm. the election with people spouting off and things like that, and that's going to have to be, you know, I've learned from that. So... You know, that's a good way of informing yeah. the population because everybody has smartphones and the internet nowadays, so. All right.